Welcome to my workbench. What was originally a review of the ZMR150 is going to be on hold for a little bit, as I've had some issues with this FR Sky XM Micro Ultralight receiver. I think I've said that correctly. It's a tiny little guy, and my intent was to keep everything very small with this build. It's about $17 on eBay. You do have to solder everything together. It bound just fine. It worked in beta flight. However, I was not getting any telemetry or RSSI. And I, th I do think you have to actually solder these two tiny, tiny little uh, tabs here. I'm trying to see if I can get that to show up. There we go. That's just beyond my skill level. So I assumed everything was fine. And here are the maiden flights. Some of you may know from your experience, uh, you might have figured out what the problem instantly was. I suspected it was a receiver, but I wasn't quite sure because I haven't experienced everything that can go wrong. <laughs> There's so much more to experience. Uh, but I do want to say thanks, Josh Bardwell. Watching your videos on diagnosing quadcopter issues helped me further confirm my suspicions that I was having um, a receiver issue. So I ran my first range test. And since I didn't have an RSSI signal or telemetry on this, I was using my arm and disarm switch. I'll show you the f uh, footage of that test on the outro, but the net results are about 20 feet away before I lost signal strength. Now, I wasn't sure if that was good or bad until I tested it with a broken XSR, which only has one antenna. Uh, the entire solder pad for the other antenna was ripped out in a crash. Now, by comparison, I, this is broken. I assumed it wouldn't be very good either, but I got 250 feet away over in my neighbor's driveway before I got down to a zero on the Tyrannus with my RSSI signal. So something is obviously wrong with this receiver. Now, I'll admit I could have overheated something when I soldered. I'm not the best at that yet. Um, but I, I, at this point in time, I can't recommend this guy. It hasn't worked very well for me. Now I am going to try its bigger brother. This is the FR Sky XM Plus Mini Full Range, and it has two antenna, which I hope will improve um, the range on that. So if you don't hear anything on this, you can assume it's working fine. If I have any range challenges or issues as I did with this one, I will definitely give you guys a video addendum um, and update you on how that went. 10 feet. Arming. 20 feet, no arming. So we have half of our reception on this guy. However, if I back up, this is where I was losing signal during my range test earlier. And I will not show y'all everything, but you see where those cars are in my neighbor's driveway across the street? I was able to walk all the way out there before I got a critical error during my range test. So I believe it's evident that the receiver I was using previously is flawed. 